Hello, this short video is going to show you how to log into and attend a, a live online meeting, um, or perhaps look at an archive of a previous session that was recorded. The first thing you need to, need to do is to log into your iLearn course. Once you're in the iLearn course, you look for the link for the online meeting. We use the Blackboard Collaborate application uh, for this, and the icon is a little light bulb here. So, in order to find the meeting, I scroll through my course, I found the meeting, and now to open it, obviously I click it. Once I click the link, uh, I looked for the join session link. If I had already recorded sessions uh, available to review later, they would show up in the box below this. I don't for this one. I'm going to click join session. If for some reason you saw um, a note that said this meant the system's not available or this meeting's been closed or it's past time, I might have to check the date and time and check with the instructor to see uh, where the miscommunication is. So for now, I'm going to click join session. It's available to me. Once I click join session, the Blackboard Collaborate um, system will operate. Now, the first thing I see is a window that says um, you have chosen to open this little file. It's a Java file, and so I have to click OK because Blackboard Collaborate is actually a Java application. I'll get this little downloads window. I'm working on a Macintosh. If you're on a PC, you may not get this notification. This is just information. You don't have to do anything with the downloads window except perhaps close it. Now I wait. Okay, now the, uh, as the file downloads, I get a little notice from my computer. It says, hey, the application Blackboard Collaborate is requesting access to your computer. Well, I'll, I, I want to allow this because it's going to get access to my computer so that it can send audio to the speakers, so that it can grab audio from my microphone if I choose to speak, so that it can capture video from my webcam if I choose to allow it to do so. Now it downloads. It might take up to a minute or two to do this, depending upon the speed of your connection. And there it is. I have opened the application. 